Did you ever get in trouble running around with Low Stokes? Huh? Did you ever get in trouble running around with Low Stokes? He seemed uh, like a rough fella. Well, uh, Low was a, uh, I mean, he was a, of course, just like us, the rest of us, but he was, he boy, he was something to fight. I was, I was with him three times. I was with him twice when he was shot, and then I was with him, uh, when I wasn't with shot. him when he got his hand shot off. I wasn't with him at that time, but I took him. I, they live in Chattanooga, and I did too. And I took him down. We was going out to Moaz people, and he was going over to his brothers in Sugar Valley there in Cartersville. And they went out to an old still or something out there, I guess, to get some liquor for Christmas. And his brother got into an argument with this still man some way, and he grabbed a shotgun to shoot Lowe's brother, and Lowe grabbed the gun that shot his hand off, tore it all to pieces. So uh, I, I come into the old place called White, sir, and some boy said, Uncle Bertie said, did you hear about Lowe said getting his hand shot off or him? I said, Lord God, no. Or he said, well, I was just, just telling him about it. I said, I just beat it to Cartersville as fast as I could and got down there. Well, sir, he'd already, an old doctor, country doctor there, drank a half pint of liquor and so did Lowe, and he sat down in the chair and took his hand off right there. And by the time I got down there, he was done had it wrapped up, and he was up in the barber shop for getting a shave. And oh, talk about a man that had a constitution! I never saw anything like it. Well, me and Clayton was going to Birmingham to give a fiddler's got to go to book it, you know, and over in Rome, Georgie there. And uh, so this is over in Glendale, like close to the old. Yeah. And uh, so we went over to pick Low up, and uh, we went in this kind of a damn bootlegging place there. And me and Clayton, me and Clayton come on out and got in the car waiting for Lowe and was waiting for Lowe. Well, all it was, we heard a gun shoot, and then the next thing we seen uh, Lowe and this fella coming out the door. Lowe took the gun, after he'd shot Lowe, God took the gun away from him and was beating him to death with it, you know. And running, backed him out in the yard and was beating the hell out of him, you know. They finally got him all. Well, me and Clayton took Lowe up to, the, to a surgeon there in the hospital. And God, they worked on it. They shot him in the arm there, and the doctors, it's up here, but the doctors started in, they cut a hell of a place before they got to the bullet to get it out. And so we was going on to Birmingham, you know. So uh, we said to Lowe, said, Lowe said, well, me and, uh, said, me and Bert will go on to Birmingham, said, we'll see you as we come back by. And he said, hell, I ain't going to stay in this damn hospital, he said. He said, give me your overcoat, Clayton. Clayton took off his overcoat, and he walked out with us, by God. Then. So we took him up there to some woman, and he stayed with her. We went on, he didn't go with her. We went on to Birmingham, but then we'd come back and seen him as he'd come back. Well, then one night, I played out there somewhere, and Lo was with me, and another feller, and his wife. Well, uh, some way or another, this feller was jealous of Lo over his wife, you know. And as we was coming in, by God, this feller stabbed Lo, and so directly Lo said, Stop the car, Bert, stop the car. Rolled him around, and he was—he was actually beating that fellow's head off. And I run around. And I said, "Oh, I said, what in the world the matter? You killed him." He said, "The son of a bitch stabbed me." He said, "And the blood are just shooting out there, you know." So I, uh, damn, I, I said, well, "Get back in." And I finally got him back in there, and, and I said, "Don't nobody say a damn word or I break your neck." <laughs> so I took him by God to a, to a surgeon there, and the surgeon got in there, and the surgeon said he didn't like over a half inch going into his heart, you know. But he got that doctored up and got him over. He got over that. So as I say, I was with him three times, I guess it was, when he was shot. And that time when he was stabbed. And then I don't know how many other damn places. He was. That is one thing about him. But he... Now, the last time Lowe ever come up here and went around with me and Guy and Roland, you know, Staley, when we was playing down at Moorhead there, after we got through, Staley and Lowe went down there to some tavern or some place or kind of a... Uh, women about fit, and he got in there and some fella, and we made a hook, you see, for What's for uh, Lowe to hold the bow to play the fiddle, and boy, that hook was worse than his fist, you know, <laughs> and we, we got some fella got smart in there, and Lowe, and they was, that was a tough joint, and so uh, when he did, Lowe just knocked him over in the damn corner with that thing, you know, and knocked him down, and Lowe turned around, his said he was telling me, Lowe turned around, Says, now, does any other you son of a bitches want some, anything around here? I said, nobody spoke a word. Oh, he, he was a He threw the hook into him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right.